Kobe Bryant's death was tragic but has no right to be next to the worst events of 2020. All right, I get it. His death was tragic and was a loss to many people he influenced, but people still seem to be blowing it out of proportion. People made it seem like the world was ending and put more weight on his death than the coronavirus reaching America back in January. I am also sick of only hearing his name when eight other people died including his daughter. His death was tragic and untimely but it is in no way comparable to hundreds of thousands dying to COVID-19, millions of people losing their jobs, the fires in Australia or any other thing that is happening in the world. There is so much crazy stuff happening that it does a disservice to say he had any part in the world running shit first into a fan. Speaking of fans, I get it, but Kobe is objectively not the best basketball player. I will link another post in the comments of him being overrated. However, my main point is that even if was the greatest player ever, we still lost more to sports as a whole from everything being closed now. I again would like to state that this is my opinion and I just am really surprised that people are still talking about him like he was some infallible legend. Please remember, he was one person. Well this is traditionally how people react when celebrities die. No single person's death ever comes close to being the worst event of the year. There is always other horrible shit going on like government corruption, slavery, child trafficking, etc. That doesn't mean that people don't get to be sad if their idol that they've looked up to since they were a child has died. The deep emotion is still there. Clearly, he hasn't had an impact on your life or you wouldn't be saying this stuff. It's like if your best friend died and me claiming that them dying isn't the worst event of the year. No it isn't for the rest of the world but for you it is. It's all relative. Real conversation. Friend, wow I can't believe it's been a week since the crash. Me. What crash? Friend, the helicopter crash, did you not hear? It was such a tragedy. All those people who died. Me, oh my god how many people died. Friend, Kobe Bryant. And others. Me, oh you mean the helicopter crash you can just say Kobe's death, I mean let's be honest that's the only reason we know about it. Friend. Oh so you think people's lives have less value if they aren't celebrities? Me, what? No. Dude are you listening to yourself? Do people say that his dead was the most tragic event? This is the type of post that make me laugh and confirm this is a pointless subreddit. How can you have an opinion about something that isn't even a real topic? No one in the world is trying to argue Cope's death is worse than coronavirus. Literally no one. Just say you're a sports ball guy and you're tired of hearing about sports guy next time. It's not a fucking competition, dude. Jesus. The zero-sum culture that has developed on social media over time is such horseshit. Not everything has to be comparative. It is perfectly reasonable to say both Kobe Bryant's death and COVID-19 sucked balls without insinuating that one or the other is more and less. His death didn't mean anything to me at all. Other than the thoughts of that sad that all of those people not just the famous ones lost their lives it didn't really impact me at all in any way. To be fair, I don't think Americans would have paid attention to coronavirus in January because it wasn't affecting us yet. I literally haven't heard or read a single person talk about Kobe Bryant in like two months except for two posts on this sub. Is anyone even claiming his death was the most tragic event of 2020? Face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. But Kobe is objectively not the best basketball player. Well this is irrelevant. It doesn't matter if it was Kobe, Michael Jordan, or LeBron James. The world would have been Davis dead. These guys are icons. Kids grow up emulating them, kids grow up glued to watching them. Kobe's death affected people on a global scale. The other eight people get mentioned along with Kobe, however, they didn't have a global impact like he did which is why you don't hear it as frequently. He inspired this generation of athletes across many sports, he was an activist for equality in men's and women's sports, and he was adored by many. You're selling Cope's impact way short. Tragedy event causing great suffering, destruction, and distress, 
such as a serious accident, crime, or natural catastrophe. I don't find Cope's death a tragedy but his family would and people who looked up to him would totally consider it a tragedy. Think about all the people who idolized Kobe, all of those people most likely thought of it as a tragedy and by the definition they are right. This whole post just shits on sports. Has there really been anyone in your life that says his death is more important than the virus going around? His death was sad, he inspired millions. I would never say it was worse than what is still going on today, but to say his death is blown out of proportion is ludicrous. Millions of children around the world wanting to be like him and growing up with him as their hero. Seeing your hero die is sad, especially the way it happened. And to say he's not one of the best is also ridiculous, dude is one of the highest all-time scorers above MJ. I agree though if you see someone saying it was worse than the virus right now they are dumb as rocks. But to say his death didn't mean a lot to a lot of people around the world is stupid. Literally nobody is saying that. Put this on Twitter and you will get your address leaked. Wasn't he a rapist? Which also means y'all can stop with the one disaster every month meme because it started with his death being regarded as January's disaster. I didn't even know who he was until he died. He was a hero and inspiration to millions, clearly he wasn't yours and that's fine. Ranking tragedies is a fucked up exercise. Objectively not the best basketball player. This is my opinion. Reddit 101. Why do we have to compare the magnitude of tragedies? Can we not just accept that Cope's death is one of many awful things that have happened this year? Whether he is overrated, or not the best basketball player is irrelevant. He was influential, and his death was devastating to fans worldwide. Sure he was just one man, but does that mean his millions of fans shouldn't mourn him? I feel like this is personal to the one who's experiencing it. Things are tragic to different people. If my grandmother passed away it wouldn't be one of the worst events to you, but to me it would. Who is saying Cope's death was more significant than COVID? I've barely even heard his name mentioned since the pandemic got bad. I feel like you're complaining about something that is not even really happening. Unpopular opinion meta, he was a rapist. It was even less tragic. Hey. The guy was a fucking rapist. Hello. Also everyone forgot he got off on a rape charge because his lawyers said she was a slut. Remember when he had rape allegations. The death of a rapist. I think you're missing the point. He is just one person, but the amount of lives he's touched, influenced, and inspired is evidently in the millions if not tens of millions, murals all over the world popped up to show love. To you it may seem like people are blowing it out of proportion, but I think it just shows how much pain people felt from his unexpected death. Whether he is the best basketball player or not is a debate that can never be objectively settled. I don't think this is even relevant as it's much bigger than basketball. His work ethic, personality and drive resonated with countless kids and adults alike, me included. He isn't perfect, but is definitely a legend to myself and many of my friends and colleagues. The real question here is to ask yourself why it bothers you. Perhaps because he never touched your life and that is okay. There are many interviews of him on YouTube, I would encourage you to check them out. Everyone can benefit from his work ethic and drive. On a final note, please remember that people mourning Kobe does not take away from the importance of other deaths. Mourning is not a zero-sum game. 